everybody, welcome back to the vlog. We are doing a car chronicles to start this vlog and it is Libby and I. And this last week was Carter's gotcha day. So we are having his family over for a cake and ice cream or an ice cream cake celebration. It's kind of become a tradition. So we are out to get a Baskin Robin cake. So we thought we'd vlog it. And I have Libby. Hi. <laughs> Well, okay, what I have to say is, it I don't, okay, I'm telling on myself. Yes, we're going to get an ice cream cake. We know that Ben likes vanilla ice cream, so we'll get him, just in case, some vanilla ice cream. And we'll also get some chocolate sauce, and I'm getting peanut butter and chocolate ice cream. So, yes. Baskin Robbins cake is on the list. <laughs> oh, you picked Baskin Robbins so you could get your favorite ice cream. Did I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know how to do this. Did you all see that? I was trying to knock her off and I knocked myself <laughs> off. <laughs> so, um, I totally made this so much harder than it had to be. We were going the correct way to go to the Baskin Robbins yes, parking indeed. lot. And I wanted a soda. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and I am a fountain soda girl. So... I went, but I'm also a cheap fountain soda girl, so I wanted to go to McDonald's. And we passed two other fast food restaurants that were on the same side of the road that we were driving on. And I, of course, had to go to the cheap McDonald's that was on the opposite side of the road that Baskin Robbins and Turning Right was on, were on, and that three-wheeler car, and um, in making it very hard for me to get back over to Baskin Robbins, because the street that Baskin Robbins is on, you do not want to make a left-hand turn. So I had to go all the way through this very busy shopping center parking lot. With a lot of stop signs. Ultimately, Sue spent more on gas than she saved on <laughs> soda. Oh, yeah, that probably is correct. <laughs> but I got my favorite soda, so. That's why you bought. <laughs> True. And I got a small french fry, so <laughs> we're good. Then I ate like four, and now they're probably cold because the air conditioning's on. <laughs> <laughs> were they warm when you got them? Yeah, they were good. That was what was important. Are they gone? No. No, I said I ate like four. I was worried cold. maybe you only got four. <laughs> no. No, I just, sometimes I just crave McDonald french fries, but they have to be warm and salted the right way. Anybody else? Are you going to put those in your air fryer? I'll get another one. See, now it's already too cold to be. So it's pretty good. But are you going to put them in your air fryer? I will. Yeah, that was the question. Yeah. 
I'll eat them again out in the air fryer because now you can reheat french fries and stuff like that and they're still good. Oh, that's good to hear. Especially like french fries like from Red Robin. In the air fryer? Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds good. Because it, it's, it's always a bummer when you have leftover Red Robin french fries. Well, I never have any leftover. Yeah, you do because they are unlimited. You do? <laughs> I have unlimited belly space. <laughs> I could go into the wine and spirits and you could go get ice cream. <laughs> Your favorite and my favorite. Are you coming? Do you want me to go in with you? I don't care. If you want to pick some ice cream, you better. There's an Oreo chocolate. I think that one. This one or that one? 12 to 16, 6 to 8. It's $30 to feed six to eight people. There will be six of us, right? Four and two, yeah. Who got us? It has to get decorated, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see yours. There's chocolate. Oh, I see it. Can I give you this? That was just a by fluke, I saw it. Do you want two of those? Where are you getting? Okay. Wait, that's not what I liked. It was pralines, right? What's this? This is pralines and cream. Yeah, but I want to see what this is. This is sweet and salty. Oh. Will you let me try that one? Yeah. Look at this. Yum. I want to try that one, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of got a big ice cream haul. <laughs> He's very excited. I don't know if I'll be able to eat it, but I'm going to try. I can eat yours. No, don't eat mine. <laughs> I can't. But let me have some of yours. <laughs> I will take lactate tonight to have some cake. But it has been 12 years since we officially... 13, if it's 2011. Oh, yeah, 12. 12. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it was July 14th. So, we are going to go home, put some ice cream away, and I'm going to do some food prep until they come over this evening and have some ice cream cake and celebrate. And we are very excited because we have got two days for both of our kiddos because Libby adopted Emmett and we both adopted Carter. makes us one big happy family. <laughs> Which was funny when we were adopting Carter. 
you don't have to as an adult adoption you don't have to do a court appearance, appearance. but we wanted one just for the ceremonial part of it and the judge was very very clear with us the importance of what we were doing and that he was a part of our family and that not only was he on paper our son but like financially our son and entitled to inheritance inheritance right and all that so it was kind of cool he asked Carter what was going to change. He asked all of us that. Right. And Carter said nothing. Right. <laughs> and I said that um, I get to know that I'm here for him legally. And what I didn't say that, that I thought was, and he's entitled to an inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think we both like as soon as we had the paperwork went in and changed everything at yeah. work. Yeah. And I got to, if he wanted it, and he did for a little while, got free classes at my work. So, that was kind of cool. And we got a son. And we got a son. And Emma got a brother. And grandchildren. And grandchildren. And now Bethany is legally ours too. So yeah, like Emmett has always been the first to attach to humans. relatives <laughs> like, very quickly the first time he met Carter he felt like he had a brother at a very young age the first time he met Jayana he felt like he had a sibling a sister or a or a daughter <laughs> a daughter right <laughs> and same with De Delaney our niece Though they are related, but and Evie has a cousin. Yeah. Oh, Evie and Emma have always been so close. I mean, it's just like nothing ever. My camera is slipping. They. Um, moment they met and then every time they got together it was like no time passed because they both love animals they just connected that way and even as adults they just just doesn't seem to be awkward even though you know there can be a couple years in between seeing each other For you, Otis. That's pretty. And it's got an Oreo on top. <laughs> 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 Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's been a morning. We're at the rec center. As you can see, I don't have wet hair. Libby has no hair. <laughs> so, oh, our pool. The chemicals are wrong, or bad, or 
whatever it is, Not the chemicals nice. can't be for you to not swim. And the other pool is full, the lap pool. So we are not willing to wait. We'll be late for work, or I will be, Libby. This work is a little more flexible. So we are going to go home and try to take dogs for a walk, though we have hazelnut too. I can walk hazelnut. She'll go with me. <laughs> so we well, may be doing... I can walk doing... hazelnut and push um, Otis so Jake can go with you. Okay. My knees kind of hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well now, don't be kind of hurting my feelings, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we will do some yard work <laughs> before you get your new mower. Hmm. So as soon as I said let's turn on the camera, <laughs> make this a vlog moment, Libby grabbed the gum. <laughs> I was already putting the gum in my mouth. No, you were yes, not. Yes, I was. Yes. Mm. You know you were not. Mm -hmm. Not when I uh -huh. said... <laughs> okay, when I pointed it out, yes, you were putting it in your mouth. But when I said, let's vlog, you were not. <laughs> Where's, where is it? In my mouth. No, the other. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Where are you, Sue? <laughs> I am right here. So, anyway. Tattling. And we are... <laughs> On our way home and I don't have my wallet to get coffee but I do have coffee or breakfast <laughs> I do have breakfast at home <laughs> so it's just one of those mornings I already cried on the way here because it was a bad driver <laughs> it's just been one of those mornings I sang really loud with you <laughs> Well, I made I made joyful noise with you and angry noise. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, I have a lot of anxiety when we when we're in the car, and I've been really good. It's been a week since I've cried in the car since our accident. But today was not <clears throat> not the day. <laughs> I really needed a swim. But I did see a really big feather, and seeing feathers is a good sign, so. What did you see? I don't know. That's why I was looking so hard. Oh. So today is Monday of what felt like a very short weekend. Yeah. Did see Carter and me, and it was a really weird visit. We were all so tired. <laughs> we just all ate cake and sat on our phones, kind of just relaxing. It was kind of refreshing, though. <laughs> and then we all had to go our own ways to make our dinners. I should have made everyone dinner, but I don't have a stove. <laughs> so it was. It was not an option, or we, I guess we could have ordered dinner, but we had just spent $300 on groceries. <laughs> so that was the deal, and they were going home to make dinner. So we are heading home and was just giving you an update. We will talk to y'all later. And Hazelnut gets to go home today. There goes Wild Jake. He got a new toy today. Everybody did. Hi Otis, did you get a new Lammy today? <gasps> yep, he's protecting his Lammy. Hi little Nod. You playing Hazel Nod? We're gonna go out back. <gasps> Hi Otis. Hi Otis. Hi Hazel Nod. Oh, Hazel Nod got the Lammy. Just for a second though, huh? We're gonna go outside. It's hot, huh? Oh, she got it. We're gonna go outside and check the tomatoes. Look, there's a cow. 
There's a cow on the table. He can't even get it because he has a donut in his mouth. I'll have to bring that donut in because he's so naughty. He leaves his toys outside. Oops. Jake, don't leave your toys outside. Don't bring your toys outside. Bring them in the house. <gasps> Look here. Oh, he already brought the donut box outside. And the little teddy bear, the little pink teddy bear. <gasps> so naughty. All right, let's look at the tomatoes. I don't see any flowers. Do I? No, none on this one. But does anyone know, are those little curly cues going to turn into flowers? I don't know what those are, but they're everywhere, out front and out back. And I don't, all six of them are different kinds of tomatoes, so I don't know, but none of these have buds. What does this one say? I don't know if that means anything to any of you. And then this one has one too, I guess. Aunt Ruby's something green. Aunt Ruby's gur green. You go, Aunt Ruby. You go. Hi, he don't are you pretending to eat grass? She just pretends to eat it. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. She doesn't really eat it. What'd you do with your donut? Oh no, am I gonna have to search? This is why we bought a mower. Can you see how long it is? I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there. See, you can barely <laughs> look at Jake. He's a wild animal searching in the wild. And here's Hazelnut searching in the wild. We have wild animals in our backyard. Oh, it's so hot. Well, good evening, everybody. So we do not have a stove yet. So... I am going to try to make some healthier version of the Crunch Wrap Supreme. We're going to do it with black beans and our air fryer. So I thought I would take you along for the ride. So let me show you what I have so far. Alright, so I have some white corn tortillas that I fried up in the air fryer. The other one's still in there. I'm going to spread some vegetarian refried beans on there. Hope you can hear me. I have a huge fan on in here. We do not have air conditioning, so fans are the way of our household. Get out the pit.
I know, Otis. I know. You like all the vegetables. I know. I know. Not going to rinse the black beans. I don't know if that's a smart choice or not. But I have these carb balanced tortillas. And they're not the large tortillas, so they might not fit all the way around. But I think that's okay. I think. <laughs> we might have to use two tortillas. So some tomato. I know. You can have some lettuce and tomato in just a minute when you stop begging. Yep. I know, sir, I hear you. So does everybody else. So, this is supposed to close up. So I have seen people do the smaller ones, kind of like this, but I also first need to season them. Bonos. A bit of ranch. Um, I think I'll let Libby put her smoke smoky Tabasco on there after. <laughs> I don't know guys, what do you think? What do you think, Otis? They left me. <laughs> so then, I'm gonna flip it over. And make the second one and start heating up the air fryer again. ready to go. So I'm going to go stick this in the air fryer.
Alrighty. There they are. We'll let you know how they taste. Maybe we have to run and wash our hands, so we are not quite ready, but they look good. They look a little bit like hot pies, but they are air fried tortillas. I was supposed to spray them with olive oil, but I didn't. And they're they're crispy, so they're crispy, so. Hi guys. So update on the crunch wraps. They were very, very good. Louie and I really enjoyed them. But I've been making them since then just like a burrito with just one of the low-carb tortillas in the air fryer and that's all it needs. The tortilla gets crispy and um, yeah and it's just not all of that tortilla and I don't know wouldn't you say it's much better that way Liv? she shook her head yes so um, that's an update and we do put some salsa on it so and I decided it does not need cheese you can't taste the cheese with the avocado in there I don't know I always I always ruin things by putting cheese on them and you not being able to taste it the mailman is getting close so the dogs are losing it so but that is the update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Um, and be kind to yourself and to others. So that's it. <laughs> yep, here comes the mailman. We'll let you see. <laughs> Oh no. The federal offense that goes on. You guys good? You good now? There's no anthrax. We're safe to touch our mail now. Didn't leave our didn't leave our mail outside. So, um, good thing it was all junk mail, and he didn't bring our neighbor's mail over. So. That was quite the experience. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and be kind to yourself and others. Good night.